Hello, my name is Eero Nikuman. I'm a project manager in, uh, in Timbeco. And uh, last year we did uh, this uh, uh, demo project uh, for apartment building renovation with uh, timber framed elements. And I'm shortly going to talk about this. Um, th this is me. Uh, I'm 33 years old. I graduated in uh, TTK U United University of Applied Sciences uh, as a civil engineer. And I have six years experience in, uh, in prefab uh, timber constructions. Uh, shortly about uh, our company, uh, it, it, we, it's uh, 29 years uh, old uh, and uh, we have about 160 people working in our company, uh, of which uh, 20 are in construction, 18 in uh, production facility, uh, 6 project managers, uh, 14 designers and 8 in sales or cost estimation. Uh, our capacity is uh, around 100,000 square meters of uh, timber framed elements per year uh, or 260 units of modules per year. And our planned turnover is uh, 24 million euros uh, this year. Uh, our main markets are, uh, well, of course, Estonia, uh, Finland, Sweden, Norway, Switzerland, Iceland, Netherlands and uh, Japan, where we uh, export uh, log houses. Uh, all the other markets, we export uh, module buildings or timber framed elements. Uh, around 55% of all of our product is, uh, consists of element buildings and 45% uh, consists of modular buildings. And, um, the main market for modular buildings is uh, Sweden and uh, Norway. And, uh, and now also in Iceland. Uh, main challenges uh, of uh, overall uh, economy or society is uh, we have increase in uh, population. Uh, European climate goals uh, or United Nations climate goals uh, uh, also this year uh, uh, this uh, availability of uh, construction materials and also the rapidly raising prices of uh, construction materials. Also energy price, uh, urbanization in the world and uh, lack of workforce. Uh, in the European Union, uh, it's uh, by two, 2030, it's uh, planned uh, that all new buildings uh, have zero uh, carbon footprint. And by two, 2050, uh, all buildings uh, have to have zero carbon footprint. And it's, uh, it's a very, very high goal and uh, it's very, uh, very difficult to achieve. But, uh, but it uh, needs to, to be taken step by step to, to achieve these goals. And uh, for example, Timbeco mm, uh, last year started uh, to implement uh, this uh, uh, life cycle analysis uh, a program uh, called the One Click LCA, uh, so that we can uh, also give the uh, estimated the carbon footprint of the new new apartment building or new building. Uh, also, with this uh, apartment building uh, that we renovated in uh, in Sowe, uh, we. We're uh, part of uh, this European program uh, called Drive Zero, which is uh, also uh, uh, it's uh, it wants to uh, to plan everything so that it's uh, more circular, uh, circular economy, circular business models, uh, and uh, and how to reuse or repurpose uh, the existing uh, materials or existing buildings, and uh, and. Uh, most waste comes from a current uh, current uh, uh, these uh, business models. For example, this linear business model is uh, we take raw material, we uh, we uh, make it into a, a construction material, and we use it. And if it's uh, broken or its uh, life cycle ends, then we just put it in trash, and that's it. After that, it's recycling, it, which is a little bit better. And uh, what we try to achieve is a circular business, economy, uh, circular business model so that uh, 
we design uh, these uh, mm, new buildings so that they can be reused or repurposed in the future so that we have to think ahead about 50 years or 60 years or 100 years. Uh, and now about the demo project, uh, it's um, uh, the solution was to industri industrial production of the new structure uh, around the building. Uh, uh, a lot of waste that uh, was taken from the building uh, was put uh, back into circulation. For example, uh, the roof covering of the existing building, uh, which was uh, sheet metal, uh, was uh, taken off. About 90% of it was reusable and it went to South Estonia in a farm so that the farm could have a new roof. Also the shed, shed and, uh, and uh, some other uh, these small buildings that they had on the farm, farm place. Uh, we also tried to achieve uh, so that the work processes are standardized, which was uh, quite difficult as it was a demo project so that um, so uh, this was uh, all new for us and also for the workers. And we we wanted the building process to be as short as possible and disturbance to residents uh, minimal. Uh, the, uh, we asked the, uh, in the Drive Zero project we uh, were, were all, we were also asked to uh, plan a circular business model. Uh, so the uh, one click LCA came in, uh, came to us as we uh, try to implement it, and uh, it's uh, uh, and also yeah, designing the new uh, buildings so that, that they can be reused in the future. Uh, mm, this is basically what is uh, our long-term plan as uh, as a new design process so that uh, things can be either the whole building can be reused or uh, repurposed or some parts of the building can be taken away and uh, reused. Mm. The, the, the amount of uh, apartment buildings and or buildings that need to be renovated is uh, very very high. The, the plan for in the Europe is to renovate 4 million apartment buildings by year 2030 and in Estonia, we still have 14,000 apartment buildings uh, that are in need of renovation. In the past 30 years, <coughs> uh, only about uh, 3,000 apartment buildings uh, were renovated. And, uh, and for example, if we take the South apartment building, which had about uh, 2,000 uh, square meters of uh, facade, and uh, and if we take that the 14,000 buildings in uh, in Estonia are about the same same size, which they are not, a lot of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, but if we just uh, uh, make it, make it a, a, a simple uh, calculation, then it would, uh, if we can only produce 100 uh, square meters of uh, facade elements uh, per year, then it would take us about uh, 300 years. Uh, to make uh, all the elements for the 14,000 uh, uh, apartment buildings in Estonia. So the, the amount is very, very high. Uh, and, uh, and also the ethics system or the uh, EPS++ rendering, uh, they cannot do it uh, on their own. Uh, they need some help and with this industrialized uh, solution, maybe, maybe it is achieve achievable to renovate the 14,000 uh, buildings in Estonia before the, the life cycle ends. And this is the, uh, the apartment building. It's on uh, Kuma 4 is the address. And this is a sh short video.
and um, th that was a short video of the renovation process and the final uh, so, uh, how it came uh, how, how was the end result and um, uh, in this uh, apartment building uh, with Taltec we uh, calculated the distribution of carbon uh, throughout the life cycle of the building uh, and uh, the first uh, on the top row uh, would be the if it was a built uh, same sized building as a whole new uh, then uh, on the middle column it's uh, if it uh, was not renovated and since we re renovated it it's uh, how much uh, carbon we put inside but uh, since the uh, mm, heating uh, heat, uh, there is uh, no uh, less heating that it's required so that uh, the overall uh, carbon emission is uh, a bit lower than if it w were not uh, renovated at all uh, we also uh, these are the main parts so that uh, that used the uh, carbon or increased the carbon footprint and uh, which were the new new uh, roof new uh, balconies uh, new windows uh, also the foundation uh, that uh, was uh, a bit uh, mm, i used uh, this uh, eps uh, insulation plus uh, this uh, cement fiber board uh, as a finish and also on the exter exterior wall or the facade elements we used uh, as much timber as possible but uh, mainly there was used this cement fiber board uh, challenges that we encountered were uh, how to reuse or repurpose the parts of the building that are not meant to be reused uh, the structure of the existing building is unknown. For example, on the foundation, on the original design, it was uh, shown that uh, the whole foundation is made of uh, concrete. But uh, when we put on the mock-up wall or this test element, then we found out that uh, actually top part of the foundation, about uh, 30 or 40 centimeters, was uh, made with bricks. And, uh, and luckily we found out in the beginning of the project so that we could uh, change the design uh, a little bit and also how to minimize uh, work inside the apartments uh, this is still a main issue uh, because uh, we were in the apartments a lot more than we original, originally planned and this is the end result uh, this is the south south side of the building where we put the new uh, balconies and on the north side uh, there used to be balconies that uh, and uh, there were kitchens uh, right behind the balconies so that we uh, removed the external wall and uh, we made the uh, kitchen speaker uh, because we uh, put the new facade elements in front of the balconies so every apartment gained about 5.3 or or about seven uh, square meters depending on the apartment uh, this uh, net area uh, also, these uh, facade elements are designed so that uh, they can be reused or uh, design of uh, disassembly uh, so that uh, all these elements uh, can be taken away from the uh, existing building at the moment and uh, they can be made into row houses. For example, one, one story row house or uh, two story row houses or up two story uh, apartment buildings. Uh, the distribution of materials in prefab construction uh, in overall Europe is uh, is uh, so that timber is uh, a little bit uh, under half or a little bit lower than half. A lot of uh, about quarter is uh, concrete that is uh, prefab and also metal construction and a little bit glass. And about the Mm, the challenges in prefab uh, sector overall is uh, people uh, people themselves the way of thinking uh, it's it is changing but it's still so that uh, a similar car is okay but uh, to have a similar house than your neighbor that is not okay and i think <laughs> uh, this needs to uh, change a bit uh, so that uh, things can be more standardized uh, quicker because the uh, population is growing so fast uh, there is uh, 
we cannot just uh, build so many houses uh, in over this is not in Estonia this uh, overall problem in Est in uh, in the world uh, also awareness uh, architects designers uh, mm, they still uh, make a lot of uh, these uh, custom solutions and also uh, more uh, uh, targeted to, on to on-site building uh, there is also uh, this financing problem with the prefab uh, sector because um, it's uh, the initial phase is a lot more resource uh, intensive and uh, banks uh, and uh, and all other funding uh, solutions they they don't want to put uh, so much money in the initial phase so it's a little bit problem uh, and there is. Uh, uh, no unified evaluation system uh, to manufacturers or developers, so it's um, so that there is uh, no this uh, this uh, for example for banks or or uh, funding uh, companies that uh, they don't uh, they don't have this uh, this system to evaluate uh, all the companies in the same way. And also one fair competition with uh, on-site construction because uh, in the factory we have a lot more inspection and uh, we uh, ther and therefore we have a bit better or better uh, quality because we have, uh, for example, five uh, th times a day the inspector comes and uh, checks all the elements that are uh, being produced. And I don't uh, in on-site there is uh, definitely not uh, so much inspection. And for uh, the conclusions or summary, uh, industrialized production is uh, is essential in the long run because uh, of the demand is so high. Uh, prefab uh, timber elements, uh, it's uh, safer, faster and, uh, in, and also more sustainable uh, because uh, a lot of the work is not uh, being uh, done in uh, on high grounds because uh, we also make the the timber frames uh, on on tables uh, so that you're on the floor you don't have to climb up so much so much and uh, and uh, safety procedures are more uh, more checked or uh, inspected and it is uh, it's possible to industrially produce almost any type of building there are certain types of building that it's a bit more difficult to produce but but definitely not impossible. And uh, today Estonia is uh, is on top level of timber prefab sector in Europe, and and I can also say that most probably in the world as well. And thank you. That's all from me. Any questions? Yes, I have. Thank you, Eero. Uh, in the end of uh, actually the last session, we talk about startups and digitalization and automatization. Uh, what kind of digital tools did you use in uh, this kind of project? Uh, we used uh, laser scanning uh, and also uh, this. Uh, well, it's. Uh, 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 it's HSP CAD system <laughs> okay. uh, that is uh, that uh, is used as design uh, process and it uh, gives uh, these uh, CNC files uh, so that uh, all the timber frame uh, structure is uh, uh, put uh, through CNC system. Okay, but did you miss of something like uh, you see that there is some improvement uh, uh, area for this uh, digitalization? Uh, to get this uh, even more uh, effective. This is now like really a sustainable solution to prefab, uh, like this uh, renovation. But uh, yeah, perhaps uh, digitalization can improve that to be even more efficient. And which are the fields that you see that uh, needs to be more improved? Uh, what kind of startups we need? Uh, one uh, solution would be to uh, automate uh, these uh, design processes a little bit better uh, so that they can be quicker. And um, yeah, also with this uh, life cycle analysis, uh, maybe uh, this uh, suitable uh, tool for uh, so that it can be attached to BIM uh, BIM models. 
Okay. Well, I believe we can continue the discussion also in the panel discussion. Yeah. Uh, panel discussion. But actually, there is uh, one question: uh, How fast uh, was the whole uh, process? As we know, the traditional uh, renovation it takes several months. Uh, the residents are really unpleased. But how it was uh, with you and in your case? Uh, we had this uh, very. Uh very high goal of uh, reno so that the uh, whole renovation would be in six months from the signing of the contract uh, because but uh, because we had uh, this um, uh, workforce uh, problems and uh, also with this uh, delays with materials then it took us uh, nine months from the signing of the contract to the end of the process and uh, the element uh, installation was one and a half months one and a half months Okay, cool. But uh, let's continue in our panel discussions where Ergo Pikas from Taltech, as well as the expert of this field, can uh, ask even more concrete questions.